come from a little bitty homegrown small town. Smoky Mountain's a nice place to hang around. Each time you put out an album, I try to come up with like one word or a sentence to try to describe it. So you don't have to. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> really? Yeah, I do. Is that it's, easy? It's, I, I, all these years, I could just I'll describe it in one word. Yeah, exactly. You didn't, you're talking too much. <laughs> no, well, what's your word? The word for this one, for life on a rock, is comfortable. Uh, that's a good word. I felt very comfortable in my skin making this record. Maybe it's because I wasn't pressured to make the record. Like most records we, that a lot of us make are, you know, you know, we try to put a record out especially the way it's been so far in my career, ever 20, 24 to 18, 18 to 24 months. And you, you get caught up, okay, well, it's time to make another record. And you get the, uh, the players together and you find the songs that you find in that time frame and, you, and that's your record. I spend my The songs for Life on a Rock were not like that. I, I didn't write these songs the same way I've written other songs for my records. And I wrote them without a guitar, without music. It was just literally me uh, pulling uh, a notebook pad out of my backpack at times and, and writing down certain things that I noticed about Memories. my friends' lives. Memories. Um, moments that would have been really easy to let evaporate and slip away. And that's the thing I'm proudest of about this record, is how I wrote the songs, the stories that they tell. Then all of a sudden, it became a pretty cool song cycle. And I traded it in for a whole other world, a pirate flag and an island girl. Pirate flag had been out a couple weeks, and all of a sudden, we'd see one pop up here and one pop up there. Now they're like a sea of them <laughs> scattered out. That's, that's good to know that they care that much and having that much fun with us. And, but I, I do think more than that, I think they relate to the idea of what the song is saying. You know, it's just about finding that moment in your life and being able to just shut the door on whatever's weighing you down a little bit. Nothing really changes like a stretch of sand time for God. That's just living. That's just living. That's just living life on a rock, yeah. That group of people in the islands, that was, that was your refuge, that's your escape. To let everyone else now into that world, what made that okay at this time? I think the, the thing that made this okay and the, the, the reason that I was able to go there a little easier this time was the fact that I really felt like that I was telling stories. It's a very reflective, a very personal, a very honest, a very authentic record about how life can move incredibly fast and at times how we can move even faster. That was an inspiration for a lot of this record. You know, it's called Life on a Rock because that's where I feel the most comfortable in my skin. And ironically enough, it's where I try to get away from everything that I do on the road, but it's where I feel the most creative. Everybody join hands cause it's time now. Each song on Life on a Rock leaves clues to some of Kenny's innermost thoughts, fears, and loves. A few years ago, we learned who Kenny's favorite author is on his album Hemingway's Whiskey. Thanks to Life on a Rock, we now know Kenny's favorite Hemingway novel. And I want to hear what you, your feelings are about Old Man in the Sea. The song is called Marley that references the Old Man in the Sea. Hemingway, first of all, is one of my favorite writers. I have a copy of Old Man in the Sea that I've had for years on my boat. And it's gotten, I left, I've left that book out in the rain. I've dropped it in the ocean. I have um, spilt rum on it. I have, a lot of pages have suntan oil all over it. But I will not throw it away. I love the fact that it's got all that stuff on it because it represents in a lot of ways the character in the book. Music in that book is where I go to try to, you know, exhale and be still as hard as it is for me. And I bet I've read that book 50 times, you know. And it just, it's just a part of what I do when I'm off the road. As great as my life is and as happy as I am about what we've been able to build out there on the road and what we're doing, you do feel the life of responsibility from all of that. Mm -hmm. And when I want to pull the knife back out, you know, the chorus of the song is, you know, you know this is where I go, where, where no one's around but the silence and the sound of three little birds for company. I got a sip of something strong, a second-hand old man in the sea out here with me, me and Marley.
The stories behind the songs on Life on a Rock are as deep as the music itself. To find out how Billy Currington's favorite hobby inspired Kenny's duet with Willie Nelson and the inspiration behind a number of other tunes on the album, see our expanded interview with Kenny on HeadlineCountry.net. A ton of life went into making this record, and I've, I've said it on the, in the album package. I hope the fans get as much life out of it, out of listening to it, as I did making it. A power fly.